what's going on guys in today's video i'm just gonna show you really quick not really it's about 30 minutes to farm one legendary and a bunch of epic to see if it has better attributes for your gear or what i do is i break them all down and the way we're gonna do it so save you reach end game and you're having such a hard time going through expeditions like i am with devastator uh lots of love for devastators out there and the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and go in here change your world tier because you're not trying to level up your world tier you're just trying to be able to do this as fast as you can as you can see i finally found all of my epic pieces that have the attributes that I want specifically just anomaly power cooldown reductions and status power and I am able to attain all of that armor gear in order to upgrade the attributes you need shards and shards can only be obtained by breaking down your gear and as you can see I've used up my status power cooldown reduction and anomaly power so my status power only have like 58 shards left and same for cooldown reductions 120 that's not a lot you're gonna need a lot of shards and so what are we doing you're gonna go to china and we're gonna focus on the hunt and i just go from right to left i'm gonna do all of these in world tier one except for the very last one which is eagle peaks for me because i'm going from right to left before you enter into the monsters area you're gonna change it back to your world tier which you go into the game menu and you're just gonna bump it up to your maximum world tier mine is at 11 at the moment you just got to remember it doesn't matter which hunt it is that's last just make sure you change it back to your world tier right before you go on that hunt so I'm just gonna show you right now throughout the whole process and I, I will probably speed this up as well so here we go and a lot of times I just look for the flag and I can teleport there okay so here with this particular ones you're gonna have to kill all these mobs as soon as the mob spawns you just gotta kill them otherwise they wouldn't let you enter into the hunt. And the yep, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna enter that and I'm not gonna pick these up because it will automatically pick them up for you as long as you remember to go into your menu, go to option and auto loot, and I just go all the way down to common. So that way it will automatically loot everything for you and not waste any time at all. Oh, and one other thing, if you're trying to complete any of the acolytes, these here, combat acolytes, um, you can do it as well. Just equip the weapons that you want to use and just go at it and you will complete some of these acolytes. Let's move on to the next one go back to camp see all of my gear start coming in I got two epics and the rest and the next one over desolate fort this one just be right over here sometimes they are all scattered uh, all over the place, you just gotta find a way to work them up if possible. So, let's see if we can work them up. Soon as you exit here, sometimes I should check the map just to be sure. I'm horrible with maps, so I can't remember where they're at. Sometimes they're just right in front of you, uh, like this one. This is, this is in front of you. But 
this one, I believe it's just right in front of you. I remember one of them has to be right in front of you. But this one, I also remember there's a chest. Okay, the very last one it should be, and the way you check is you go, you can move your cursor up to Trench Town and just count, count it off to four, six, eight, nine. Okay, so last one, obviously, Wreckage Zone. Okay, before you forget, you could always bump it up now or right before you enter in, which is World Tier 11. And do 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 it stays on top and find where it is. Right there. Four yard queen. Oh. This last one, obviously because it's at it's at the world tier, make sure you put on your A game. Finish all that, I would say in about 40 minutes, give or take. Now, I haven't even checked my inventory, so I am seem to be okay. Six more slots for weapons. Um, I think I should be okay. I am completely full on my armor and my boots. So let me just go ahead and dismantle some of it. Yeah, I should be okay now. So, got a trophy for you. I'm not sure if there is a faster way of doing this. And I'm back later. And just now I start dropping it. Let's see. Anomalies something. Anomalies visage. 
with sage. Sarge with sage. One of those. That's it. Anomaly power, cooldown reduction, and skill life each. See, I could either break this down and get the tier 3 mod, or I can just keep them and see if I can do something with it. Most likely, I will break it down. It doesn't look like it would do me any good since it's missing status power. Basically, that is it. And then talk to Noah again. And a new hunting season is open. Reset quest. And once you reset that, then you go talk to Chana. And as you can see, the paws are back on those quest line. And you can start over. And you can just rinse and repeat you just gotta make sure that the very last hunt you do it on your world tier that is pretty much it guys um thanks for tuning in this is the very first video that i'm pushing out onto this particular channel if you guys came in from my other uh, channel which is nathan huang thank you so much for supporting me and if you are new here uh, consider subscribe hope to see you guys in the stream or co-oping with me stay safe talk to you guys later bye bye